I'm Marjorie Busby. This is a short video showing you how to lay out your fabric and cut bias binding using the AccuQuilt Go die system. The first step in making bias binding using the AccuQuilt Go die cutting system is to cut a 16 to 18 inch width across your fabric. So I use my large ruler and my rotary cutter and I cut a width of fabric. So you can see this is 40 inches by, this one is 16 inches. The next step is that I want to remove the selvages from my fabric. Once the long rectangle of fabric has been cut, I take it to the ironing board and press. And it's important to press, fold this up at a 45 degree angle and you'll have a straight edge here and a bias edge here and you press this bias edge very sharply being careful not to stretch it and then you go to the other end of the fabric and bring the straight edge together and press this bias edge so now the shape that you have is a parallelogram and bring your die over so that you can lay it out on the die. Now it's important to remember the direction that your bias strips are going to be cut. This is a bias edge and this is a bias edge. And so your strips are going to be cut across the fabric in this direction. Because of that you want to line up this bias edge with the blade on the die. You can see the blades on the die you want to line up this bias edge with that with the blade and then you pull the second bias edge up fold it over line it up with the blade on the die and the first bias edge that you lined up and so you now have this shape you very carefully you can grasp it in the middle you very carefully move it so that the fabric covers the blades and you center it just a bit. Then you fold these triangular ends into onto the die so that you continue to keep this bias edge lined up, all of those edges lined together and then I uh, have the end lined up with my uh, 90 degree lines and I fold up the other side keeping the bias edge aligned and it's now ready to be cut. So Here I have my fabric folded onto the two and a half inch strip die with the mat on top. This is a well worn mat. <laughs> And I'm going to run it through the cutter. And I slide the mat off. And I will begin to remove the strips. So you can see that I have some very long bias strips. After the strips have been removed from the die, I sort them by size and shape. You will see that you have some strips where the angles are go in the opposite directions and other strips where the angles go in the same direction. It's very easy to stitch these together, but only if all the pieces are the same shape. So to solve that problem, what I do is I take these pieces and stitch them together first. So if I take this long piece and stitch it to this shorter piece, you will see that I now have angles that are exactly the same. And then I can take these two medium-sized pieces and stitch them together 
and the end angles are exactly the same. At this point, I'm ready to stack these all together and take them to the machine and sew them into one long bias strip. I hope this video has been helpful. You can find more information at my blog, which is bquilts.com. Happy quilting!